We're making nachos today. Welcome, my name is Jody from Growing Book by Book and this is a new series called Cooking Book by Book. So it combines two of my very favorite passions, picture books, that's the oven telling us it's ready for us to cook. It combines um, two of my favorite passions, which is children's literature, picture books specifically, and cooking, cooking and gardening. So for our very first episode, the first thing we're gonna cook together, we are going to use the book Nachos, Nachos. And this book is written by Sandra Nickel, and it is the story behind, well, the world's famous uh, snack, whether it's for the Super Bowl or New Year's Eve, or pretty much we have it on the rotation in our house at least once a month. So this picture book is about this man, whose name was Ignacio. Um, and many people who are named Ignacio have the nickname Nacho, and this man also did. Um, he grew up enjoying his foster mother's quesadillas, which is kind of like the soft version of a, a nacho, really. And in the late eight, he was born in the late 1800s. And when he um, became older in his early 20s, he started working at a kind of a fancy restaurant and there was a regular customer who came in kind of between um, the lunch shift and the dinner shift and wanted a snack for her and her friends, something different that they, um, she hadn't had before. And so um, Nacho went in the back and kind of looked around and found some corn tortilla chips and some cheese and some jalapeno slices and voila, nachos were born. And so this recipe, um, like ev almost every book that we're gonna do in this series, has a recipe at the end of the book. I love picture books that include recipes. And this one could not be simpler. Um, you can make your own tortilla chips. Um, I'm gonna use just bag tortilla chips that I have left over. Um, this one is from Trader Joe's. I really like these because they're thicker. Um, and when they, even though they're only gonna be in the oven for a few minutes, um, they can get real brown real easily. And I like these because they're a little bit thicker so they won't brown as quickly. Um, also in my refrigerator, I had a little leftover shredded cheese. We might have to grade um, a little bit extra, we'll see. And then you need some pickled jalapeno slices. I have pickled jalapeno slices mixed with banana peppers that I canned over the, or not canned, but um, preserved over the summer that have been in my refrigerator. So we're going to use those. Um, if I had some homemade cowboy candy, um, which is sweet and spicy jalapenos, which I love, but we've already eaten through all of those, I would use those. Or if you don't have them homemade, that's fine too. I really like Trader Joe's brand of hot and sweet, uh, hot and sweet jalapenos. These are really good on pizza too. So this recipe is pretty straightforward. So let me show you how we're going to assemble them. Chef always gets to taste test as we go along. So we're just gonna lay out our tortilla chips on a tray and sprinkle on our cheddar cheese. I'm using a sharp cheddar cheese. Um, that's usually what we have in our house, but a mild or medium would work too. And not making a whole bunch because right now I'm home by myself. So we're just gonna make a little snack because I haven't had lunch yet. So this can be a lunch snack. Rob from a neighbor here. I'm do my best not to get little pieces all over the cookie sheet because that is a pain in the neck to clean up. <clears throat> all right, on to fishing out some pickled jalapeno slices. I'll do one on each. Looks like it's going to get banana pepper instead. I 
All right, these are ready to go. These are just gonna pop in the oven for four minutes at 450 degrees. Set our timer for four minutes. And while those are cooking, I am gonna make up some uh, cheese-free, but tastes kind of like cheese, cashew salsa, which is my new favorite obsession. So let me walk you through this. So for this, all you're going to need are some raw cashew pieces. We need a cup of those, um, some salsa. It can be mild, medium, hot, whatever your preference is, a cup of that. We're gonna add two cups of nutritional yeast and then about two tablespoons of warm um, to hot water. And we are just gonna dump it all in the food processor and blend it really well. Um, you want it to get nice and warm um, so that it gets nice and smooth so there's no little gritty uh, cashew pieces in it. So let's go. And go a cup of cashews, a cup of salsa, and then two tablespoons of nutritional yeast and two tablespoons of warm butter. I'm gonna put the lid on there and we are just gonna let this blend, blend, blend for a couple of minutes. Been running for a, a couple of minutes now. I'm gonna scrape down the sides. I can tell we're not not quite there yet. So we are just gonna blend this up for another minute or two. And while this is blending, I am gonna cut up some celery uh, sticks and pepper sticks because that's how I love to eat this. Oh, I just realized that I forgot to add salt. Those raw cashews are not salted. So I want to make sure I put some salt in this. Right. Almost there. As the blade runs in here, that heat really kind of helps to turn it in almost to, it feels uh, texturally like a, a butter. Right. Let's see where we're at with the salt. Perfect. Mm, it's amazing what a little bit of salt can do. All right, I'm ready to put a little bit of this in the bowl and our nachos are out of the oven. They did get a little bit browner than I like. I could have easily, because I didn't have a ton of cheese on these, could have pulled them out a minute earlier, so I would do that next time. But let's get this plated up. So we've got our nachos and our cashew dip and some veggies, and I have the perfect little snack. So I hope you pick up a copy of Nachos Nachos, make yourself some nachos, and enjoy reading aloud with the kids in your life. Until next time, I am Jody from Growing Book by Book.